So it's time for maintenance, the best part of the program. Log into Optavia.com, go into the search bar and type in three and three. And then you're gonna click on three and three weight loss programs. Right, products and programs, I just clicked on that, you saw it light up green. Three and three products and programs. And then you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom, scroll all the way to the bottom. And then from there, you're gonna to get to your TEE, Total Energy Expenditure. And you're going to enter um, all of your information. So think about what that is. And here is mine. I am 175 pounds. I'm five feet, 11 inches tall. And I'm a 42 year old male. 42. And I'm a male. And then it's gonna say, how much do you work out per week? I picked very active, but you're gonna have the options. You know, what are you doing per week? Sedentary, slightly active, moderately active. This is all done for you, it's pretty awesome. So pick out what your activity level is. Then it's gonna give you a number. My number is 2,964 calories. So now that I know my number, I'm gonna to go to Optavia, actually coachesanswers.optavia.com or you can go into Google and type in coaches answers. Click on the document library. And in the document library, keyword search sample. S-A-M-P-L-E. And under sample, you're gonna click, you know, your um, sample plan, sample meal plan. And look how awesome this is. Well, depending on your TEE score, you need to know what your sample you know, plan is. So mine is about 3,000 calories. And here's the cool part, you can eat whatever foods you want. Well, not whatever, but you're gonna go back to eating quote unquote normal foods. I still use the Optavia Fuelings because they're very cost effective for me. They're very delicious, they're simple, but you don't have to. So here I am, 2,500 calories sample meal plan. I also still weigh myself to see where I'm at in my journey of you know where I wanna be. Now we go to coaches answers again, and we don't type in sample, we type in healthy. And then we're gonna find our list of healthy exchange list. Here's the cool part. We get a full list of foods that we can eat, which is basically going back to everything. Now we haven't transitioned yet. We're just talking about maintenance. There's still a trend, the weight loss transition and maintenance. This is just the maintenance phase. So look, here are some fruit servings. Some dairy, this is like the holy grail of like, okay, well, I still wanna go back to foods, what can I eat? And you can find these foods in the store and pick out foods you, you buy at the store. The five and one is simple, maintenance is just a little bit different, but you wanna maintain. Here's the bottom line, if you go back to a 5,000 calorie diet and you should only be eating 2,500, you're gonna gain the weight back. You know, you can also still exercise, you know, to help keep that weight off and also still weigh yourself. And here's Devin Heggie. All right, so my wife, Devin Heggie, has been researching um, maintenance because a lot of people are afraid to come off the five and wanting to go into maintenance. So I just showed you on the video how to find your TE score, where to find that. I just showed you on the video where to find um, sample recipes or meals, I'm sorry, based on your, your um, body weight. And what was the other one, exchanges? Mm -hmm. And okay. then you will type in healthy to get into your healthy exchange okay. list. So I just showed you how to do that. So Devin. What I really like about the healthy exchange list, what I found out for me in maintenance, I'm allowed two starches a day, but I didn't like on the example plan, my two starches a day. So I went to that healthy exchange list and it had millions of options for me. And I also know exactly what amount is getting more calculated, just the way your lean and green was done. So it gives you confidence behind what you're eating in your day. What I learned is nothing is off limits. You can eat anything, but know your triggers. And you should know your triggers from previous life, from doing the five and ones, how you felt when you looked at them during your five and one. Do they make you feel like, thank goodness, I'm not even touching it? Then that might be something you stay away from. For example, I know I love French fries, so I will not have them around my house, but it is okay if I'm going to a restaurant like Red Robin's and I'm getting my burger wrapped in lettuce and I want those fries, it is okay for that day. And if I wanna finish it, 
That is okay. But no, that is not something that should become a habit. I believe the most important part of maintenance is not going back to your bad habits. You can have beer again. You can have wine again. You can have a cookie again. You can have a piece of cake again. You can have a piece of pizza again. However, if that was your trigger and you can't eat one cookie, you'd eat 10 cookies, then maybe stay away from the cookies. If you can't have one small bag of popcorn, you'll eat the whole bag, then maybe don't go back to that. So a big, big part of maintenance is not going back to those bad patterns or habits. You can have a glass of wine, but if you're having three or four glasses of wine every night or three or four beers every night, you will put the weight back on. You can still have that glass of wine. You can still have that beer. You can still have that cookie. You can still have that pasta. Um, but be aware that if you continue to do that, it might be a bad habit. So fix those habits. You can have the foods that you love, but if you go back to those bad habits and patterns of eating them in huge quantities, that is the most important part of maintenance, not going back to those bad habits. Being healthy is like doing your laundry. You have to wake up and want to do it every day. So some questions I ask are, did you read Dr. A's Habits of Health book? Are you staying connected to your coach? Are you tapping and tapping into and listening to the podcasts that are on YouTube, that are on podcast? Um, are you doing those things? Or you also have the opportunity to become a coach. If you become a coach, you don't have to run a business. You can help one person a month, two people a month. You become part of the community and you create your own micro community. When you become the teacher, you're gonna learn about 80 to 90% more than if you were just a student. Also, you don't have to sign up to become a coach. You can send your coach referrals, but the thing is the client you refer to them is going to be asking you questions anyway and you're gonna end up coaching them. So you could either get paid or your coach can get paid either way, but you're gonna be helping them and coaching them and that's gonna help you on your journey. So pay it forward. My name is Matthew Heggie. That was my beautiful wife, Devin Heggie. We like helping people get healthy and become the best version of themselves.